G'day guys and girls, Billy here. Well, it's Friday today. It's really, really hot today, uh, guys. So they're expecting around 38, possibly 40 degrees Celsius. So spending a lot of the day inside today, fellas, uploading some videos. But anyway, before I start, I'm just, it's about 11 o'clock, guys. I've been up for a few hours already. Uh, so I've just taken some nice bread out of the freezer. I freeze all my bread, guys, just to make it last longer. And it's just so much easier, guys, so I can get mold on it. So I'm just going to defrost this bread for an hour or so. I'm getting really, really hungry. Got some stuff here for scrap. He's already had a couple of these. These are dog biscuits soaked in uh, water. Uh, and also maybe later on today, guys, if I'm in the mood, I might make a beautiful lasagna. If not today, tomorrow. So stay tuned, guys. And in the meantime, guys, I'm just about to work on a video. I've got one currently uploading. So this is probably going to be Thursday Adventures with Wild Warrior Bill, something like that. All right, we'll go outside, guys, and see what we're going to do today. So I still haven't got around to sorting out all my junk. I'll probably sit there for another week or two, guys. I'm a bit busy, but it could be a good day today to sort it out. Who knows? We'll see how we go, guys. But anyway, I'll tell you what I'm going to do today if I get time is I'm currently doing a bit of work guys so take note of those paving slabs so they might be moved soon also just watered my organic veggie garden guys it's going really really good pumpkins tomatoes I've already had a good uh, little crop of tomatoes so they'll ripen up in the next couple of weeks those green ones so it's a really really hot guys you can just see here how all the leaves are kind of uh, dropping over Anyway, I've done an awesome job over here, guys. So this, uh, I sorted out all my wood yesterday. And under there, there's heaps. Really hot and windy today, guys. Big fire warning as well. So what we're going to do today, guys, is rake up this area. So this is going to be later. Um, rake up this area. Then we're going to sort out this shearing sheep wool table. And we're going to cut some beautiful wood. And we're going to put all this beautiful wood over the top of that shearing table and that's going to be standing upright and if you can see those chemical drums over there similar to this one here that one over there on the left hand side that's going to sit on top of this wall table just there and we're going to capture all of our washing machine water for my organic garden so hopefully if it all goes well guys we'll have three or two of those chemical drums sitting on top of this wall table and those concrete slabs are going to be support for the bottom so it's a bit untidy guys so I to move my shearing table from the top of this roof and we'll probably sort out these relics and so forth this is just stuff what I stockpile for a rainy day for when I have my market or garage sale just junk guys people will buy it don't worry about that there is some beautiful stuff in there tractor seats and old wheels and some beautiful old wagon wheels behind all the junk there shovels and stuff I want to what I want to do one day guys is recondition all of these beautiful shovels and pickaxes and paint them with kill black kill rust or something like that a lot of this stuff when I get my big shed sorted out guys I was even thinking last night about impossible but getting rid of that shed there and getting a brand new shed oh well might win lotto one day guys not that i don't even buy lotto tickets but anyway and more junk here and yeah and they're going to be some nice inserts for growing veggies as well guys there's eight there so cabbages and cauliflowers and stuff just stuff here i've got to sort out too fellas nice sign there i found a couple of days ago and these relics here that i've recently found beautiful rubbish dump relics so yeah so basically guys we've got a lot of crap inside this little shed heaps of stuff for a garage sale and also this one's chocolate block too full of stuff and that's what we're going to do packing stuff up box it all up and put in the sheds for a rainy day guys a nice camper trailer here what my mate I bought off my mate I think 400 bucks for that beautiful camper trailer that needs to be reconditioned with a new tent my mate Chris who does beautiful upholstery next door he'll do that for me one day and here's just some couple of rainwater or water containers that I found out the dump and I've got them soaking in bleach water and the sun the UV rays will 
kill all the bad stuff in there if there is any bad stuff but anyway let's go back inside and work on that video guys and we'll see you later on the day and scrappers on the veranda being annoying all right thanks guys we'll see how we go see you scrapper see you scrapper G'day guys, so I'm just uploading a video. Anyway, guys, just gone 12 o'clock lunchtime and time to make some lunch just to get rid of my stomach pains, guys. So usually I don't eat breakfast, fellas. I never ever eat breakfast. Some, uh, even rarely I eat lunch, but I just have to eat lunch, guys. So I try and eat pretty healthy. Uh, so just a ham cheese and hot English mustard sandwich. I'm just about to crack open, or put some nice cracked pepper on it, and some nice sea salt, and I've got a few little bits of salami here, and a few little bits and pieces for the dogs. They get looked after pretty well, fellas. Anyway, I'll put this pepper and salt, and we'll have lunch, and continue uploading my video. Waiting for it to cool down, guys. Really, really hot, 12 o'clock, so if we head out there about, I'd say about four or five o'clock in the afternoon, and it gives me a good chance to upload some good videos today so we'll see you around four fellas and also guys i'm having that beautiful fish dish the swordfish with tomato sauce homemade tomato sauce tonight for dinner so i've got some nice brown rice here guys so just with brown rice if any of you guys don't know you have to soak it in water for at least six hours so make sure you always soak the rice prior to cooking it guys, don't just cook it like it is, it needs to absorb some water first and then you can cook it really really easily. Looks nice isn't it guys? Alright, yeah, I made a video on this just recently guys, paint scraper. Awesome for cutting sandwiches and so much more. So easy fellas, get yourself a paint scraper for your sandwiches and it just comes in handy for so much other cooking stuff in the kitchen. Beautiful. Hey guys! So happy Valentine's Day. Today is Valentine's Day and Becky surprised me. This is going to be funny to some of you guys. But she surprised me with this game. Um, we've been wanting this guessing game. I know it's ridiculous. And she surprised me with so g'day guys, so I've just finished uploading three videos, probably try and work on a couple more, but anyway I'm just subscribed to Amber Lynn Reid, guys, she's pretty controversial, she weighs about I don't know, five, 500 to 600 pounds, she's a beautiful girl, but she's uh, a lot of uh, problems I think, uh, but she's uh, got a huge fan base, about 50,000 subscribers, she's actually lesbian, so basically I'm a bit of a fan of Amber Lynn. it's uh, quite entertaining to see what she's doing, trying to lose weight when she's not really trying and so check out her channel guys, Amber Lynn Reid, I don't know you might have heard of her but she is, uh, if you want to watch something different, check out her channel. Alright guys, we'll continue on with the day, waiting for it to cool down fellas, nearly two o'clock, a couple more hours and we'll head outside and go and do um, a bit of work in the Mr. garden. Deeds. We both really love Winona and we also really love Adam. So, and she got me chocolates. Look how Chocolates, cute. guys, and she weighs and she 600 rose, pounds. Currently in water. She's trying to lose weight. I'm just doing my makeup. Uh, I am mid-makeup. I'm not even done with my lips. I'm to pay my electricity to buy to, uh, today. So that's 60 days electricity, guys. Buddy rip-off. Absolutely disgusting. You know, I hardly use any electricity. And it's $385 for 60 days. Kind of reduced a little bit, but still, you just never can get in front. Also, guys, this is our buddy truck bill for my truck from, I don't know, when's it from? The November is the original uh, bill, guys. Hope you can see that's a bit blurry. I'll move it. And just to you guys, this is our truck bill for my truck for a major electrical problem I had. It, 
I actually paid this buddy back in on the 14th of November, fellas, and I just realised yesterday that every single one of my payments for this bill here got reversed because I accidentally entered the wrong account number. Uh, so I'm absolutely spewing, guys. I've got to fork out $1,149. So anyway, it just sucks, guys. So hard to get in front. My bank balance is going down really, really quick. I'm going to have to do a scrap run soon. So I'll be, I'm just waiting for a nice, cool week, and uh, then I'll head up to Perth, some batteries, uh, aluminium, some copper, brass, etc., and hopefully make myself a couple of grand. So I'm just going to pay $500 towards this today. Sorry about buddy, Amberlynn Reed guys, and pay that one. So it's going to take a huge, big chunk out of my bill, out of my bank account, guys, spewing. Having doubts about going on my holiday, guys. Having doubts, I might have to postpone it for a few months. It's so hard to get in front, fellas. You know what it's like. All right, fellas, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. I've just got a bit of a sprinkle of rain. And um, I've got to go and unpack my trailer. I bought the sheet manure, so I don't really want to get it wet. So I've got to put it under cover somewhere. And uh, so we'll go and unload that now. Come on, Banjo. Can't say this, Cindy can stay inside. And also, fellas, I just found a nice cork at the rubbish shop the other day. Exactly what I need, guys. Hopefully, it's for uh, one of my bird feeding things up here. So I've already got one in there, guys, but it's a bit worn. That one, so I don't know if this will fit. If not, we'll find another one. So. Oh, it looks pretty loose. Oh, it's pretty tight. No, that's good. That's exactly what I need, guys. So this is an old water trough for livestock. So we'll um, fill that up later. Anyway, it's sprinkling fellas with rain. It's cooled down a little bit. Really, really black towards the uh, east of uh, Dumbuyong. Up there, guys, see? So I got severe weather warning today, fellas. So I want to get this unpacked before it rains and Hopefully we're going to get some nice footage of a thunderstorm later. So, we'll clean this area up right here first. Just done a bit of rearranging guys, and then we're going to unload my sheep manure. And I've got a couple of bags for Chris, my neighbour who lives directly, where I just pointed then. Big crack of thunder there guys, it's building up. Coming directly this way. About to rain shortly, fellas. It's coming here that storm. Hopefully, we'll get a massive big thunderstorm. Fill up my rainwater tanks, fill up all my water capture areas. I've got some of those chemical drums, one of those chemical drums set up underneath my rainwater gutters, <coughs> down pipes so that will go towards uh, watering my garden. So, you're really, really dusty. <coughs> so, yeah, there's nothing real. Oh, shit. It's always. More stuff I've got to pack, guys. Just didn't see that. Anyway, right, we'll keep going. Be another half an hour, guys. That storm will be here. I've just got to unload that manure. Still unloading it. So it getting there. Just starting to rain, guys. Nice big heavy drops. So it's the first bit of rain we've had for over a month. So hopefully we'll hopefully we'll get an inch of rain. That'll be nice. So I reckon within the next couple of minutes, guys, we're going to get a massive big dust storm only about a kilometre away. See all that raised dust? It's getting really, really windy, guys. So probably within the next minute or so, I'll put the video on if it's exciting. And this is one of the very first things I learnt as a kid, guys, in regards to Mother Nature. Can you work out what it is? All of the busy ants, guys, panicking, knowing that there's rain coming, or collecting food and so forth. There's an ant I just stepped on. We just saw on the news the other day in regards to that, guys, that they've done a bit of research that ants actually try and save the lives of injured ants. Pretty amazing, eh? That's why they're stopping there. Anyway, guys, just unloaded all of that sheet new. I'm just about to sweep up this pavement area here. And it's slowly coming here. Hopefully we'll get some. And a couple of shovels, guys. Gonna hopefully make a new pond. But anyway, here comes the rain. Here it comes. Finished just in time, guys. 
Love the smell of beautiful summer rain. And these are my willy bins full of sheep manure. And also in that big white half chemical container you just saw this full of sheep manure in the bags there. But this would be perfect for my garden. Exactly what I need fellas, just in time. Beautiful. And this is where my new pond's gonna be. Here you guys. Right there, I'm gonna build a beautiful pond like these ones. So that'll be about my probably 11th and last pond I think, no more. And probably three or four days later guys, time to hang up, take down this washing. So busy fellas, having no time. Old cock jocks, bluey singlet. And the good old Aussie checker shirt, the bogan shirt guys. It's a bit of a bogan back in my younger days. And a couple of pairs of jeans. Keep going. Now we're going to go and rake up some leaves, fellas, and prepare my shearing table for that big chemical tank over there. And possibly one or two others that are going to sit on top so I can collect all my water. So I'm just going to rake up these leaves, guys, and try and even this surface off so all this shearing table is nice and balanced. So he's got his beak out like that, fellas, because it is so hot today, about 40 degrees Celsius. And they keep their beak open to control their body temperature. Really, really, you always see that with magpies during hot days in summer. <laughs> They're not in any distress whatsoever. So this is a storm front coming down fellas from up north, so where I live is right about, about there, where my arrow's pointing, 40 kilometres east of Wagen and about 70 kilometres uh, west of Lake Grace, northwest or southwest, sorry, in about 70 kilometres uh, southeast of uh, Lake Grace, the capital cities. Perth is over here, about 250 kilometres away. So anyway, guys, what I'm go going to do now is just having a nice drink of water, really hot, and we're going to go outside and prepare my new wildflower garden. We're going to spread all my seeds, guys. So finally, months later, we're going to do it because it's a perfect time to do it now with this big summer thunderstorm coming down. So hopefully we'll get a good decent amount of rain, but who knows, it might just get blown away too fellas, it's just luck of the draw. Alright fellas, what we're going to do now is prepare this garden, I'm going to use my pickaxe again and rip all this soil up. Before we do that guys, we've got to pull up all these weeds, all these awful weeds. And then we're going to plant all the nice organic native seeds that I've collected over the last few years. These will probably come back up again, these weeds, fellas. Frustrating. Anyway, we'll keep going. So if you want to check out the link below, fellas, from when I first started this garden, I'll put the link in the description box before. Yep. You'll see before and after. I'm just going to do this. We pop the soil. Good exercise guys. Get out there and do it. Get out here and do it as well. Get your kids out there. Get them away from that bloody computer. I know how addictive it is. Can you hear the rain falling fellas? On the tin roofs? Ha <laughs> ha. 
halfway through. Fellas, about probably half an hour later, just finished using a pickaxe, bringing up all the soil. So, what we're going to do now is spread all these beautiful wildflowers, guys. There's heaps of different species in here, also fungi species, spores. There's a little wildflower there that will turn into a beautiful plant, hopefully. And it's a perfect soil too, guys. Nice gravelly soil. So this is what these wildflowers were like. There's also tree species in there, guys. I'm not too sure, so I'm just going to do a lot of risk taking and hope for the best. You know, I hope I'll be happy if 20% of these beautiful seeds uh, actually sprout, germinate, so forth. So let's get started. Just grab handfuls and we'll spread it around the whole area, guys. Beautiful, different types of species. Seeds coming off, guys. Well, that's it, fellas. All right. Can you hear the rain? It's all fun guys spores. I'm doing it right. You just see right there, guys, all the seeds and grass seeds on my gloves. That's what we want to spread. G'day guys, quickly, quick video uploading by the mobile. I've just spread out a whole spread a whole heap of beautiful wildflower seeds in my, my wildflower garden. So I've got some fungi spores here. So I'm just gonna release the spores. A couple of different species guys. There's one there. I'll do this one on the other side, fellas. We've got a big storm coming at the moment, guys. There's another beautiful piece of tree fungi there. So I'll quickly show you around, guys. So this is my beautiful wildflower garden that I've made. I'll probably make a full video on doing this and spreading the wildflower seeds, guys, but 
severe weather, guys. Might do a bit of storm chasing soon, hopefully, or tonight. So I've just spread around all these beautiful wildflowers, fellas. All the seeds landed in the ponds. So hopefully, we'll get some beautiful wildflowers. There's also tree species, guys. This is, uh, I forget, it'll come to me in a minute. Uh, a Karajong tree. This one's a type of uh, acacia species. There's so many different species here, guys. So, just spent about an hour just sorting out that. There's a Banksia species there. There's also tea tree species. So I'm just hoping for the best, guys. I've spread out heaps. Seeds I've been collecting for a couple of years. And uh, there's a bird area there. So yeah, hopefully if 20% uh, of these seeds germinate, fellas, I'll be happy. But if it does, this is a perfect terrain, gravel, a nice gravelly area, a Banksia species, all different types of species, fellas. I don't know, that's a sandalwood, sandalwood species tree, sandalwood tree, they make the beautiful sandalwood oil. Everlastings, so just been shaking it around, guys. Anyway, so let's stay tuned for the video. So this will be included in my Friday Adventures with Wild Bill series. Alright guys, it's looking really, really nice. Really, really happy guys. My garden's nice, but not as nice as what I'd love it to be. We'll get there guys. We've got at least 30 years in front of me to get it all looking beautiful before I kick the bucket. Alright guys, hopefully we'll get some beautiful rain soon. Perfect timing. So right here fellas, this is a beautiful paper bark tree through the paper. It's like paper fellas. Probably a thousand layers of bark under this tree. And Aboriginal people would use this for bush tucker medicine, shelters and so much more. Anyway guys, this is a bit of tree fungi. I have got these around my yard, but I'm just going to stick it in there. Hopefully, I don't know, might spread some spores. That's about where they sit, just like that, on the sides of trees. Like that. We'll stick it there guys, it might release some spores, who knows. Anyway, just a little bit more to go guys, and that's it. And there's a few things in here I think. So probably two years of seed collecting guys. Uh, a bit of tree fungi, I don't know if that would work, but who knows. But there's grass seeds in there, and other species, and a little bit in there. But it's looking really nice guys, so... Hopefully it'll rain, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to rake it over, I'm just going to leave it like that in its natural environment, and eventually they'll spread around this area here, and uh, germinate, hopefully. Yeah, and just that tree fungi, guys, I'll stick it in there, in that there, that will stay there. Who knows, something might happen, might spread some spores. Also, fellas, some, these are Kwangdong trees, similar to a uh, sandalwood, beautiful bush tucker, fellas. You need this, it comes with a beautiful red skin on it. Unsure what that one is. It's got skin in it. But there, uh, Kwangdong's an unknown seed. Chuck it over there. There you are. Chuck that one right there. And that's it, guys. Just a. Uh, Right here, a uh, type of tree, type of, right here guys, a type of fungi. We'll have to step on it, it's pretty hard. Um, it's a good idea, we'll rub it like that, and the wind will blow it, and we'll do that around the rocks and stuff guys and Aboriginal people probably would have used this for face paint and so forth markings or probably definitely a type of medicine as well so much more
G'day guys, Billy here. Well, end of the day, fellas. Once again, exhausted, and I've got a craving for some nice two-minute noodles, or uh, ramen noodles, or ramen noodles, whatever you call them in America. Uh, we call them two-minute noodles here. Uh, so that's what I'm having, guys. These ones are really, really nice, and they're spicy. Whenever I make my two-minute noodles, too, fellas, I usually add a little bit of fish sauce, just a tiny bit, a couple of drops. Um, soy sauce and sometimes if I'm in the mood I'll put a, a, a little bit of seaweed there are little uh, strips of seaweed there and sometimes Tabasco sauce, I love hot ink, hot Tabasco sauce but I'm not going to worry about the tabas Tabasco sauce or the seaweed fellas just a little bit of soy and the fish sauce so anyway we'll do that in a couple of hours time it's about 6.30 now in the evening in a couple of hours time fellas I'll put the oven on and make a nice, um, make my dinner. And fellas, my washing machine is still going. If you don't know, I made a video before cleaning relics. So I've destroyed the inside of my washing machine, broke all the plastic, but it still washes my machine. Wash washes my clothes good. So I'm just gonna wash my clothes fellas. Saturday tomorrow so what I'm doing is filling up the washing machine and letting all the, these clothes soak overnight and tomorrow we'll do a big wash. Wash all my bed sheets, towels, clothes and everything else. Well fellas unfortunately the big storm and rain did not eventuate. There's still plenty of thunderstorm activity around but it uh, seems to have gone further east. Anyway, we'll see what happens, guys. I don't think we're going to get any rain. We only got a little bit of a sprinkle. Oh, well. G'day, guys. Billy here. Well, 4.30 in the morning, guys, and it's finally started to rain, which is uh, perfect timing, guys, for my beautiful wildflower setup that I've got out and set up outside here and also to wet the garden also bad timing for my <laughs> relics it looks like christmas doesn't it M memories of being a kid guys and waking up 4 30 in the morning and seeing all my christmas presents everywhere especially that tonka toy that definitely brings up memories of christmas this one right there anyway beautiful uh, rain guys hopefully my relics and so forth that don't get wet I've actually been up since about 2.30 this morning I went to bed way too early last night guys about 8 o'clock I was absolutely exhausted and uh, and that's why I'm up now or well, that's why I've been up since 2.30 I just tried to go to bed then my mind's just ticking over a million miles an hour and uh, also this rain guys it brings back memories of when I was 17 when I first joined the army at Kapuka in New South Wales the very first night I was there guys, you know, homesick, lonely, missing mum and dad, my sister, my mates, friends. And uh, it started raining guys, it sounds exactly like this. Rain on the tin roof, cold. Knowing that in about a couple of hours I had to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning to be treated like crap by the recruit instructors. Tell you what, guys, beautiful memories. It was hard, very hard, but just beautiful memories, guys, of just the smells of the army canvas and so much stuff, guys. I don't know, I'm just babbling on, but you know, nice memories, guys. I miss the army so much and the navy, but you know, it's a long time, guys. And I talk about it a lot, but it's um. It's just one of those things, I guarantee if you've ever been in the Army or Navy or Air Force, it's just one thing you'll never ever forget. Even when you're an old bloke, you know, it's just one of those memories that you can never be taken away. The mateship, friendships you make, the bad times, the good times, and so much more, you know. It's one of those things I always bring up in my videos because it's just such a really special memory guys very very proud to have served my country but anyway fellas we'll might as well stay up now i don't know i don't think i can go to sleep and 
once this rains starts we might go for a walk around my yard with my torch and uh, see if there's any frogs because this is going to bring out heaps of frogs guys heaps of frogs so we'll get my spotlight out and see if there's any uh, frogs around all right fellas we'll chat soon that's my bat boxes up there all right beautiful rain to soak the soil in my garden see you guys G'day guys, so it's probably around nearly 6 o'clock in the morning as I say fellas, been up since about 2.30 hope I'm not going to uh, crash guys, this is a, could be a sign not being able to sleep no, I think I'm going pretty good fellas, but anyway just a bit hungry guys, so I'm going to make some nice breakfast uh, just so I'm making a couple of pieces of toast some nice apricot jam and some beautiful Vegemite guys, so it's going to be hard to spread this one handed. Alright, let's see how we go. I like it nice and thick, guys, Vegemite. Anyway, I'll turn the camera off and we'll keep going. So that's how I like it, fellas. Nice and thick. Uh, so, just in regards to making my videos, guys, I do make most of my videos for overseas people, just to highlight what it's like living in Australia. But anyway, most people, if you're not Australian, you never tried Vegemite, you'd probably hate it the first time. Uh, this is stuff that we grow up as babies, so basically, I don't know, probably when we're about 12 months old, we're probably first introduced to Vegemite, possibly younger guys, I'm not too sure. I've got no kids, but anyway, it is beautiful but it's definitely something what you need to get used to but you know as kids when you first taste it you just don't know any any different also Vegemite's really nice on toast with cheese so cheese on top of the Vegemite or also poached eggs so a nice poached egg on top of Vegemite uh, toast is really really nice so it's probably similar to Promite and Marmite for the, for the English guys <laughs> <coughs> for the so it's very similar to Promite oh, I think it's called Promite Marmite uh, yeah so if you can get this in America guys or, or UK Europe try and taste it it's something definitely worth trying especially if you come to Australia guys everyone lives off this stuff alright thanks for watching guys we'll go and sit outside and eat this toast and make myself a nice cup of tea